thank you for viewing into the crazy lady cooks today's episode I'm going to prepare bell pepper meatloaf we're going to start with three pounds of ground beef I am going to add to that um, two teaspoons of this new seasoning I try new things on you guys on these shows this new seasoning is called gator hammock gator done it has in it um, salt, garlic, black pepper, onion, paprika, assorted spices, and peppers. So, I'm going to start by sprinkling that all over the meat. Then I'm going to add a half a cup of dried minced onion. I prefer to use this because that way the family doesn't know how much onion goes in it. It's kind of a trick because they don't like onion that much, as I've said before. So, we're going to sprinkle that all around. And dump it on the side so when I start to toss this together. I'm going to add in there a whole bell pepper or um, a red bell pepper diced up. I'm going to add that in there. Get all those little peppers out of there. I'm also going to add one diced up green bell pepper into it. It's kind of like a meatloaf version of stuffed peppers but instead of being stuffed the peppers are in it. I'm going to add three tablespoons of steak sauce. I'm using A1 for this one. Just going to dribble it all up in there. I'm going to add two eggs. I'm going to just slightly beat them up, break up the yolks. I'm going to add two eggs. This amount is going to make two meatloafs, at least two meatloafs for the family. One I'll cook tonight and then another one I'll put in the freezer and when I'm like in a hurry and want to cook a meatloaf but don't want to spend time putting it together, I'll put it in the crock pot. I have a three crock pot, crock pot, three pot, pot, crock pot. Okay, three pots in one crock pot thing. You'll see it down the road. So we're going to pour that in. So with all that, I have two cups of breadcrumbs. I do not know if I'm going to use all two cups, but I put it in the measuring cup so it's easy to pour this because once my hands get icky, I gotta have a handle. So I'm going to start to mix this. I'm going to just kind of knead it in. Kind of mixing those peppers and those eggs. This is the disgusting part of this dish. The egg, I guess, is a binder. I don't know all the technical stuff to cooking, but it's a, uh, kind of mix it together. Start sprinkling in the breadcrumbs. So far, I've used about a half a cup. Start mixing it together. Add a little more. You'll kind of feel, you don't want it really dry, but you don't want it wet, if that makes any sense. We're up to about a cup of breadcrumbs at the moment. Just kind of mixing it together, getting all those ingredients kind of smushed together. There you go, that word smushed again. My daughter counted on the episode with the uh, deviled eggs, how many times I say it smooshed. It was about 12 times we said smooshed. That's what we counted. Now we're up to still about a, about a cup of breadcrumbs, give or take. I think we'll add just a little bit more. Kind of coat the top there. So it's, I'd say about a cup and a quarter of breadcrumbs. Like I said, you'll just get kind of the feeling for it. I don't want to overwork this. Okay. Let me wash my hands off real quick here. Here. Let me move this out of the way. We are going to be cooking this in a new wave oven. Now that's a tricky thing to get used to cooking in, the baking in, until you get really, really comfortable with it. We're going to take this meatloaf out using one of my cutting boards, which is for a the beef. That little cow on the corner. I know it's for a new cow. Being the, this is hamburger. And dump that out. And I'll just wash my hands get out of this. I'm going to use this little pan to cook it in. So of course, this is way too much meatloaf for this. 
get my little knife here. I'm going to kind of like just squish it together because like I said, I'm going to freeze half of this. So I don't want this whole meatloaf. I just want half of this meatloaf. So I'm going to take half of it now. And that's all I'm going to do is just kind of do it that way. Sounds like we got company. I hope they look okay because they're walking in on us taping the show. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Come in and be quiet. <laughs> I'll leave. So we got one meatloaf about this big. I'm going to set it on this little tray. Kind of flatten it out a little bit so that it um, cooks okay. Okay, so then what we're going to do, wash your hands off. Goodbye. That was just my mom walking in. Tell me when it's done so I get to eat it. Okay. <laughs> All right, this is a new wave oven. Like I said, it takes some getting used to a new wave oven. Um, there is a lady on YouTube who is doing cooking in a new wave oven episodes. I've watched one or two of them. I found the instruction book to be very hard and to under, not understand, but the, the timings were off, so I gave up. Basically, you just lift this little part up. There's a, it comes with a rack that is four inches this way or one inch this way. This is a different rack. I'm just using a one inch high rack. Get it off the bottom. I'm gonna place my meatloaf in this tray. The new wave oven is designed that you can cook your whole meal if you want to at the exact same time. I can put potatoes around here, whole potatoes, and bake them at the same time. But like I said, I have found the instructions on cooking times to be a little bit confusing and not exactly what they recommend. So I'm only using it to bake my meatloaf. I'm gonna plug this thing in. I'm hoping we will cook within an hour. Um, that's about a pound and a half meatloaf. So I'm gonna set it to cook for one hour and then we're gonna come back. Um, at some point I might stop it and put um, sliced up onions and ketchup on top because we like sliced up onions and ketchup on top and then let it cook another 10 minutes. So I will probably show you that step. But in, in case I don't and you come back to a completely ketchup and um, onion meatloaf, I'm cooking it approximately about an hour but I'll let you know how long it took. So I will see you when we're on the next step. Okay, my meatloaf's been cooking for about 40 minutes now. We're going to pause this for a minute. It looks done. I'm going to pull it out of the new wave cooker. See all that grease fell underneath that pan. So what I'm now gonna do is move it, hopefully it won't fall apart, over to this other cooking sheet. Get this out of the way, this is hot. All that grease in there. We're now going to add the onions and the ketchup. I'm going to uh, put a little bit of ketchup on it first. Act like a glue on it when I add my onions. Okay, it makes that funny noise. Sorry about that noise, y'all. Okay, just leave that upside down so we can move it down. We like lots of onions, as I've said before. So, I'm just going to pile the onions on, just everywhere. I don't even care if they fall on the tray, because like I said, we love our onions. Just want to get them all cooked. You don't have to use as much onion, you can use less. I'm just I just want them to slightly brown a little bit. Not really brown brown, but like get that little bit of like cooking on them. Add some more ketchup. This is just one, one um, meatloaf recipe. I will be doing meatloaf again in the future with different ingredients. We're going to place that back in the oven. Put the lid, let it go about probably about another five to 10 minutes until those um, onions cook a little bit. And we are back to, to plate it up for you. And we're back. I have cooked this, baked this for basically an hour. This is my finished products of the meatloaf. Basically, I didn't want those onions like black or anything or really dark. I just wanted them to get a little bit of color on the edges. So we 
we'll just put this on the plate too. Let's pile these up because I know I will grab some, my husband will grab some extra onions. And here we have our bell pepper meatloaf. And as I always say, thank you for watching. And remember that eating with your family and friends is the most important part of your day. So until next time, eat good, be good from the crazy lady who cooks. Bye.